Hi friends, now we are going to talk about how we can find CDS views uh, using a table or a query. Okay, so imagine a CDS views using a query. So how can you do it? So first thing is you go to SE16. Okay, SE16, SE16, and it's up to you. So I'll just go to SE16. I'll put this thing. And here you can search for the CDS views. So suppose you want to do something related with suppose invoice i don't know whether it will show something uh it doesn't have so here what i can do is just probably if i do fi starts okay related with fi we don't have anything fi star uh yeah so here you see you have anything that starts with fin it's finance related and here you can find all the you know description what's related with okay this is very helpful and from here you can search it at, at a go so so let's see the short description I think the second short description so if I want to see the short description here if I want to search with anything payment probably and probably I'll just take this out and let's see whether we find anything so here you can see everything related with payment so this is very handy and suppose you want to see anything related with invoices okay so here i can search with inb and you can get everything related with you know fi invoices mm invoice you name it now let's see try to find something with uh, suppose uh, uh, material master or business partner so i'll just put business uh, so just see whether we find anything probably the caps is a problem uh, here we don't have anything there so what we can do we can try to search with the uh, uh, customer let's see uh, I hope there would be lots of things for customers yes it is so you have a bunch of stuffs here you can see these are the CDS views that you can use out of the box and you can get further information so here you have withholding tax related stuff everything you can think of and now if you want to search anything related with suppose usage okay where what something is being used or something so here you can find all the uh, uh, information about the usage okay so this is very very useful so in this way you can find all these things so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and if you'd like it share and subscribe to it because there's something new coming every day